Hello guys, this video is the final one in the series of DBMS project and report writing. So as you can see on the screen, this is a sample cover page of the project. It doesn't have to look exactly like this, obviously. You can ask your college and your department if they have given some standard format. Otherwise, you can design your own and something like this should be fine. After this, for abstract, you can write a small introduction to your project and what this report is about and you can then continue to acknowledgements. Let me zoom it. Okay. So for acknowledgements also you can ask your department and college if they have given some standard format. Otherwise you can uh, write in something like this. After this TOC, table of contents. Here you can also include the sub topics. I have only included the main topics. And then you can start writing the actual report of your project. So these things I have already discussed in the previous videos. So I'm skipping and I'm going to ER diagram. So this ER diagram uh, development I have done step by step so it is easy for you to understand in the sample report but you can actually draw the final diagram here you can directly draw the, this diagram I mean the final diagram you don't have to do it step by step and ER model to relational model for this one also I have done it step by step by taking a small portion of the ER diagram and then converting into the relation but you don't have to do it like this you can directly draw the final tables the ones listed here yeah these ones so these are the final tables final uh, schemas rela relation schemas uh, you can after ER diagram you can write down these schemas okay so after that starts the crucial part SQL and here also you don't have to write uh, too much of introduction you can elaborate a little more than this I have I have made it very short you can um, also add a few more uh, like introduction to its command and all or you could also write something about normalization before starting SQL you can also write something about normalization and so how you have normalized your uh, tables uh, that is uh, not mandatory but if you want to it is fine so for SQL as uh, mentioned in the previous video also you can either include only the screenshot of the command or you can uh, write the query like this or you can also write the query in simple format without formatting it like this and that is totally totally your wish but uh, it is good to have this structure of the table and a screenshot like this this will help you and the examiner who, who is checking your report to understand it quickly so i will skip these parts as we have already discussed uh, in the previous video related to mysql I'll go, go to the end directly. Yeah, this is the summary. This is a summary of the project where um, we write what we did in a few paragraphs, just three or four paragraphs. And here um, I have also mentioned uh, in the last paragraph, I have mentioned what are the weaknesses or limitations of this project obviously we did it in a time constant so library management and fee management these core features are missing in this project so you can be clear about it in your project report and also to the examiner if they ask if they ask and yeah so i hope this report is going to help you to do your own uh, don't take this as a something you can directly copy and use it uh, use just use this uh, for seeing the formats and 
taking some inspiration on like what are the things you have to uh, do you have to write down uh, so after this let me tell you a few things few advice and tips for the project lab and viva so first part is understanding the project so th these advices are based on my previous my own experience as a student in the past and last few years what i have seen from the students so first part is understand the complete project since it is a very small project each group member should understand the complete project it shouldn't be like if the external or or any other person ask you something about this project then many i have seen many student saying i don't know this because i have not worked on this part okay that answer is suitable for huge projects but a small project like this uh, should be understood by each group member so please do that and avoid too many group members as yeah, i have mentioned in the previous video also ideal ideal is 1 2 3 or even better is doing it alone if you can so you learn a lot of things if you do it alone individually and also uh, it is a it is very common practice that you make a group you you are a group of three or four members and only one of the member or only two of the members are actually working and remaining two members they do not know they only turn up in the final day of the presentation and they have no idea of what what, what is written on the project so this is a common pattern seen in all, co all colleges i am not uh, talking about any specific college so uh, this if you do this then the the person who are skipping who are not working on the project they are in loss because they will prevent themselves from learning a lot of things so please participate everyone and use google docs use google docs by google drive or any other similar alternatives for cloud services why i am telling this is if you use your local office package in your system that doesn't have any problem uh, one one issue you may face is collaborating google docs as you know this is very good for collaboration if more than one members are working on the same project then working on the same file is possible in google docs but in your local computer it is not possible also one more reason is in today's world a lot of companies in lot of offices people prefer these cloud services google drive dropbox or onedrive or similar services so that they can easily share files so you if you learn if you work on this then you'll be learning this using use of these cloud services this is going to help you in future and one more reason is it has a standard format if i do it on my laptop and somebody else is open the same file in his laptop then some formatting uh, this has been taken care of by these companies but still some formatting issues can be there so because of these three reasons i would recommend using google drive or similar services but this is not mandatory okay so in your content about your content your uh, of your report whatever you write should be related to the project okay this is also something i have seen in older projects um, many students what they do is they just write general definition of sql general definition of database uh, what general things about er diagram just to make the project look long so you can you can uh, write about those things you should write about those things but in very few words 80 to 90 percent of the content should be specific to your project 
if you are writing about er diagram then just give a small introduction to er diagram and attributes and things like that and then continue telling about then start telling about what your project uh, wh what are the entities in your project how you uh, you identified the entities and how you are drawing the er diagram and what are the attributes related to these entities specific to your project and another advice is keep it original okay uh, many students or the not everybody but a lot of students just take a sample from somewhere on the internet or from their seniors and just change the names and slightly change the topic and present it to your internal teacher this is a common pattern so if you do this if your intention for studying bbm or any other degree is just to have a degree certificate then that is fine then uh, i don't think there is much to say but if you really want to learn things learn skills for your future then work on it from scratch just see a few samples that is fine but work on your project from scratch also the report writing should be done from scratch because this is supposed to make you learn a few skills that you are going to use in future and if again um, from the TU's guidelines also if they found the duplication then your project report won't be accepted so so please um, do it from scratch and make it original and keep the complication at medium level okay so let's say there are three levels one is easy one is medium one is hard so easy is the one that we do in examinations because in examinations uh, while writing written exam we don't have that much time so you have uh, if they have asked us to draw er diagram then what we do is uh, we take only two or three attributes and do the bare, bare minimum part this is too easy for your project this should be slightly more than that slightly more advanced than that it should be at least 70 to 80 percent like a real world project at least and hard is the actual implementation of project for a real organization assume you are doing actual implementation but uh, keep in mind you are only doing 70 to 75 or 80 percent of the real work so keep it somewhere in between from easy don't make it make it too simple like uh, the ones we used to draw, uh, do in written examination and don't make it too complicated like imagining all possible situations and you t you using all the dbms concepts that we study don't go that way also because otherwise it will take a lot of time and it will just increase complication so do it somewhere in between at medium level okay so while in sql lab and viva first is be confident in viva even if there are certain limitations in your project certain drawbacks you should understand the remaining part properly and you should be open about these these are the draw, drawbacks and we are going to fix it in future you can say you can we, we are go, going to work on it on future in future and if something has been asked uh, about any topic any concepts of dbms then you should at least answer it partially because you can relate the topic to whatever you know and you can say i i know this uh, um, in case uh, i'm not saying you should be answering all the questions like this but in case you don't know clearly what is the answer at least say um, what i remember is this topic is related to these concepts for example this topic is related to normalization and this is about second normal form but the exact definition i i have forgotten or or something like that in in the rare cases if you don't do not know the answer 
don't go totally blank or i have seen some students becoming rude to the examination uh, to to the external examiner uh, please don't do that also and don't be totally silent also so keep it real so these are two things and in sql lab if uh, in case you don't know exactly how to run the query how to execute it then at least write what you know because uh, the questions are going to be from easy to medium level they they won't ask very complicated so what we have seen what we have practiced for written examinations be prepared for at least that and write the sql queries and in case in their case if it does not run successfully then at least show it to the, to your external examiner saying uh, i have written this but i think um, there is some syntax error or something so it is not running in case if you are not able to do it so i hope uh, these advices and tips are going to help you in this and other projects uh, thank you for watching the video and best of luck for your project report writing thank you